Hey Leo, Jackie Tomlin here and uh, welcome to my channel and this is your general reading for the week of May 8th, 2023. Okay, so Leo, before we get into this, and there's a lot of information coming here. Hello, Miss Dana. Um, there's a lot of information coming in from my last, but before we jump into your reading, let me say this. This is a general reading. Take with you what resonates. Leave what does not behind for someone else. And if you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTelman.com. And now you will find the reading information is in the description box below the video, which you'll find by the black arrow in the right-hand bottom corner. All right, Leo. Um, and you've got some people that may or may not resonate with you this coming week. Let's go with Aquarius and Gemini, okay? You've got so much going on. Um, there is some kind of, uh, I'm thinking, I know you're signing something, okay? And I'm not going to tell you don't sign anything during retro, but I am going to tell you read the fine print. I really think this is a large lease or a purchase because you're very, very excited about whatever this is. You're moving forward. Um, the time frame is now. It's the week of May 8th. And you're excited about this. Now, if you are separated from someone or something, it is temporary. Uh, there's also some type of celebration going on. Um, dinner out. I mean, maybe somebody's birthday, something, something like that. But there's some kind of celebration going on. Uh, new doors opening. Uh, good business deal. You're also taking the time and you're making decisions, okay? And this is why I named this video Doing Things Your Way. You're tired of playing nice. <laughs> the lion is about to roar. My Leos, you're tired of playing nice, okay? You're going to do things your way. You're putting your foot down and saying, you know what? No, we're going to do it this way. And that's not an option, okay? So, putting your foot down, taking authority, I do see that. And we have, you know, you could be dealing with another Leo. I want to throw that out there, too. Maybe an Aries or a Sagittarius, but I get more of the feeling of another Leo, but definitely another fire sign. Uh, some of you getting ready to head on vacation or a trip out of state, that is going to line up and fall in place for you. I uh, think you're looking at plans, making plans, reservations, something like that. That, that will fall into place for you. Uh, some secrets are going to be revealed. And these secrets are going to actually bring you in some confirmation. It's like confirming something that you've already known. And I do see intensity in the love life. But I mean, it's more later towards the week. Like the weekend or something like that. But yeah. That's what I got going on for Leo. My biggest thing is the lion is about to roar. Let's see what we got going on. We're going to pull you a few oracles here before I dump, dump into that tarot. See where my Leos are headed this week. All right. We have patience. <laughs> Y'all a fire sign. You got none of that going on. Just saying. The flow, letting go, energy. This is more what I'm talking about. Look at the energy. That is her shooting lightning bolts from her fingertips. That's more of my fire sign. Family, courage. I think you got plenty of courage. Okay. I like having strength. So you're going to have to find patience as you let go of something. And like I said, I do see y'all um, flipping. You're going to flip on somebody. You're just going to flip and you're going to say, no, there's no more negotiations. We're doing it this way and that's the way it is. And roll with that. Leo, you are the lion. Every now and then you're going to have to roar. Looks like the week of eight, you will make it happen. All right, let's jump into some tarot. Let's see what we have here for the Leos. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. 
and the death card energy. So Gemini may or may not resonate with you guys. Knight of Pentacles, I'll be honest with you, it's the slowest moving night in the deck. Okay, but it does indicate to me a good business deal is coming into play. And like I said, at the very beginning of the reading, some of you are signing something and I really think it's a large lease or a purchase of something you're excited about. King of Pentacles is coming in and showing you some financial stability. This may lend, pull some weight with this trip that I'm seeing coming up. Okay, so perhaps some money coming in. Now, you know, you're sitting on this double whammy too, and I'm seeing it a lot of the signs. It said death card energy, endings, closures, reverse, new beginnings. One door closes, one door opens. It's emotional. That's why you're about to roar. This is a lot of emotion and a lot of energy going on in the time frame of retro of the time frame of the unexpected. So, you know. It is what it is. I don't see it as being anything bad, but it is leading you to sudden changes. And when I say sudden, they are sudden. And when I say unexpected, it is unexpected. I also want to throw out there, Leo, I think you've got some unexpected company coming into play. I'll throw that out there. All right. We have the Nine of Pentacles. I also see a delay attached to this as well. I'm sorry, it's the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups in the center of your reading. And we have the Knight of Swords, something rushing in. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles is your abundance. It's the highest financial card in the deck, but it's more than that. This is the health, wealth, family, friends, things like that. It's just your abundance in general. You may be also getting the news of an accident or an injury. I want to throw that out there. It's not yours, but the news of that coming in. Uh, the Four of Cups coming in and says, there's an unexpected offer of love. For some of you, it could be the love of family or no friends. And some of you, my singles, this could be very significant. Of course it is, Harry. It's retro. The Knight of Swords talks about what's rushing in. What's rushing in is the Five of Pentacles. With that, we have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Page of Wands. Let's give you an extra one. The Two of Pentacles. So now we're getting into money. Where you're at financially. Okay? So, Leo, where we're at financially. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You've got some kind of spiritual and financial blessing coming in, but you're also doing something here to generate some money. Oh, listen there. There's your clearing. Okay, so there's something going on here. You either do a raise in or a promotion. You're seeking a side hustle or something is um, coming in that you're doing something working with your hands doing something crafting woodwork something to make some money okay uh page of wands sagittarius energy comes in with the message card that says just that if you're juggling financially those days are almost over okay this is generally news and new money is coming in for whatever reason i just feel your ship is within reach for my leos okay i don't see any anything this says otherwise. So, yeah. Yeah, it's blowing really bad here as well, Harry. I noticed it earlier. Right? All right. So, let's go on further with these messages, Leo. Let's see what else we got going on for the lions. I don't see y'all roar too often. I just want to throw that out there. Hey, Malibu. All right. So we've got the page of inspiration coming in here. Again, messenger card. That message is the six of voices. Okay. So I like it. You're leaving the troubled waters. You're heading off into the calm. You're doing you. You're doing you. You're speaking up. Like I said, this whole reading, that's why I named it, you know, it's doing things your way. Your way or the highway. 
Okay. And then on that King of Pentacles comes the Ace of Inspiration. Talk about the time frame for all this. It's this week of May 8th. And then on that Death card energy, you know, which unfortunately is during retro, but it's in a lot of the signs comes to the three of materials you are working and gaining there is something here i'm really surprised y'all don't have the muse of materials let's see if that pops up you're really working on your money growing something a project some of you are getting ready to start a business some of you thinking about starting a side hustle some of you lacking the confidence and then some of you you're just waiting for that notion of you know telling you when to jump in knight of cups is coming into play that Knight of Cups comes on the Abundance card. This is the unexpected offer of love. Really want to throw out the word unexpected. And remember, that's what Retro is about. The unexpected. Four of Cups comes in. The Eight of Wands. Happiness, contentment. Love arrows flying around. Some of y'all taking an evening stroll. How romantic is that? All right. So, Knight of Swords. What else is rushing in here? Did I mention y'all going to have some unexpected company? Because I want to throw that out there, too. The Three of Inspiration. Okay. So, I like this energy. This says, you know, we're talking about your ship coming in. Your ships are coming in. Okay. And this talks about, you know... The looking back over the past, the retrospect, you know, um, what worked well for you, what didn't work well, taking that and applying it to the now. I like it. I like it a lot. A little bit of a patience problem, but not, not anything major. We have the Five of Pentacles on top of the Five of Pentacles driving home the point. There's a spiritual blessing as well as a financial blessing. Lord, I don't know what somebody got something to do with cows here. I see cows. I don't know why I see cows, but I see cows. All right. Seven of Pentacles comes in. The Hierophant. All this money, all this, you know, manifesting and all this researching and maybe starting a business and maybe starting a, a side hustle. Aw, oh, thank you, Miss Ruthie. This shows that it's what you've been manifesting. It's what you've been drawing into you. It's what you have wanted to see happen. Now, on that Two of Pentacles, what we got going on here? Oh, yes. Summing up your reading. The awakening. A spiritual awakening. It's that aha moment. The light bulb has come on. All right, Leo, bonus card. I got no re reason to extend this. this. is a great reading. Damn, the chariot. So you got the awakening and the char chariot for the end of the reading. The chariot, y'all know, is my favorite card. This is your yes answer. This says um, you get what you want. You get everything you want and desire. It's right there before you. It's going to come rushing in. It's when you least expect it. Leo, you got a fantastic read, so enjoy. Don't forget to check out your current weekly reading as up on the channel. And if you're seeking a reading as JackieTomlin.com, you will also find information on those readings in the description box below. Hit that black arrow in the bottom right-hand corner. All right, guys, logging off. Up next, Virgo. Virgo is next. Bye.